welcome to today's video. It is like a spring day outside. Spring! Oh my goodness, what the heck happened to you? We ride today, Penny Pickle. It's our day. Finally, I have a day for me. I have allotted this day. Sam is at work. Nothing can go wrong. I told the kids I'm riding today, and they said, Oh no, not again. <laughs> they don't love it. Because I can't just come down here and ride. I, I'm like, you guys are coming with me. I'll get dressed and come down. And you guys are spending time with me. And they say I stress them out because I'm needy. I'm needy. There you go. Well, hello, girl. <laughs> Girls are still sleeping. Sophie still has on her pajama pants. I got dressed today. Oh my gosh, we have so many videos to post. What a mess down here. Holy heck. Holy heck. I guess I'm uh, cleaning the arena today. So, you guys see we have mud too. But it's not soul sucking mud. <laughs> it's not even mud. Like, it's like. It's, yeah, it's like you don't even go down. And then we have all this area up here. That and all that area back there, like only right here is where it gets muddy. I don't know why only right there. Because oh, we have it drained. All the water goes yeah, right. Deb planned it like that, so that it's not. They have dry area. Yeah, it's not bad here. I was kind of feeling bad for our horses at home with this mud, but it doesn't even like your foot doesn't even sink. But there's mud everywhere. There is mud everywhere in Ontario right now, or at least in our area. It's just a mud pit everywhere. Sophie and her friend were down here riding ponies the other day. Do you wish you could you clean up the whole thing on Saturday and now it's a big mess again. I look over and Gabby's standing there. Gabby's arrived. All right, let's let the horses out. As a recap from yesterday, you guys, it feels like when we have lessons and I don't get a chance to talk to you guys, like really talk to you and explain stuff and it just seems like a mishmash of riding. I almost lost my boot. There is one mud puddle. In our, in our? Yeah, come see. So we made a mud puddle. Oh yeah, this little area here. And then we go like that. Okay, well don't do that because it's going to be where the horses all roll today. But look down there, it's all just dry earth. No mud. And it's fun to play in. Okay, well don't play in it because that's not good. Oh my gosh, don't lay in it. That's not good either. Anyway, as a recap, all of our horses, all of our boys had massages yesterday, uh -huh. which was so good. They all felt so much better after. We do massages in Cairo, not because our horses need it, not because they have to have it all the time, but because we're beginner riders. We're still learning. Like none of us, none of the kids that ride at the school or my kids are professional riders that only know how to ride perfectly and horses were not designed really to be ridden so we use it as like a reset while the kids are learning something to try and like keep them maintained and maintenance that's what our our massage girl calls it but we do it every month to try and keep them good and happy and healthy while they teach my, our kids to ride i think it's like the least that i can do for them because we're beginners and we're making all the mistakes, you guys, and just doing the best that I can for them. So that's why they got that for Christmas. Yeah, mud pits. Sophie, all Sophie's pets are just like Finn. Finn and Daisy, they don't like to get dirty. They're very particular. They're like so funny. Come on. Go girl. You got a treat. Better get moving, the pony's coming. Here comes that little pony, yeah. Gigi, you got a treat. Come on. Come on, you better get coming. What is wrong with this blanket? Come on, get coming. I already gave you a treat. All right, here comes my girl. Here comes my girl. Uh-oh. Oh, she needs her feet picked, I can tell. You are muddy feet? Oh my goodness, you are a muddy mess. Uh-oh. And you get a treat. But you have to come all the way out. I should have brushed you, but I'm coming back to brush you. <coughs> come here, let me get that on. This is the worst kind of mud, the mud that you have to like pull her hair out to get out. Come on, get out here. Watch out, Gabby's coming behind her. Come on. <laughs> You're running into me. There we go. She's so cute. You're so cute. She just stands here and lets me rub her. Kind of. <laughs> She's mad at Willow. 
All right, that sun has got to disappear. It is so bright. Ugh. Yeah, so this pony just rolled in the mud, but thankfully it's not like the mud puddle Sophie just made. Better watch out, she says. I'm coming. Gracie's holding out for us. She's like, give me treats. Yeah. So, explain to them about your lesson. Yeah, so Sophie rode an older horse last night. An older horse, probably because your leg swings around, so you don't hold it on. This is her lesson for I'm this week. And I've had to use so much leg. Yeah, so she rode Denver, who I love riding, and she hated it. Why did you hate it, Sophie? It's too slow, and I don't like riding old horses because I feel bad for them, and he had all arthritis. Yeah, and that same thing happens to me every single time. Sophie doesn't like riding horses that seem compromised to her. Like, he was old, and once you know all this stuff, you can't get it out of your head, and then... I can't get it out of my head, but I still ride them. Yeah, Gabby, can, Gabby doesn't I care. I still ride them. Gabby doesn't I ride care. them well. She rides them, and she rides them well. She should know how to do things. I know, but Sophie's like me. She's like, what if he's sore? I know, he's so amazing. The point of my story is that Sophie's like me. She has too much compassion, and she, it's hard for her to just jump on a horse that she thinks is in, like as healthy as she would want him to be. Like, if a horse seems like they're not wanting to be ridden or anything, I can't ride them. Like, I can't get past it. Like, I don't want to, I don't know. I'm not an assertive person when it comes to riding horses because I want them to want to be there just like I want to be there, and I want them to be having fun, and I don't want them to be hurting. So, Sophie had a hard time riding Denver last night. If you saw the lesson, I don't know when it'll be at, but it was insane, and yeah. It's literally spring. Was, let's see what temperature it is. It's literally... Last night we were so cold. I was so cold all night. After like a lesson night, I'm always so cold. It is 40 degrees. 40 degrees in the barn, but sunny and hot outside. Like I don't have any mitts on and I'm not even cold. That's, yeah, it's like five Celsius. All right, I say Fahrenheit because a lot of people are in the States that watch us. 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, 40 degrees. 40 degrees warm. Yeah. Like, it's hot out here. We just finished homeschool. I'm getting ready to go ride my horse. Wahoo! <laughs> I am so super excited. I finally have time. It's bright. It's awesome weather. It's amazing. I'm going out there. I'm going to ride her. Gabby, how do you feel about me riding my horse? I don't know. You don't care? I don't care. Oh, that's awesome. This year for Christmas, I'm asking for a new iPad. This is Sophie's iPad. We like Samsung, or I like Samsung. This is Sophie's. What are you asking for for Christmas, Gabby? I don't know. Gabby, it's true. Gabby does not know what she wants for Christmas at all. What are you asking for for Christmas, Sophie? Um, toys. So much stuff. So much stuff, right? Well, I'm a kid. I like toys. Comment below what you... Did I ask you this already? Comment below what you guys are asking for for Christmas because I'm excited to see. Like, I love Christmas, you guys. I like presents. I like giving presents. I like getting presents. I like everything about presents. Presents are the best. Obviously, Christmas is not just about presents, it's about people. Christmas is about people, you guys. And dogs, get your dog a present. And dogs, get your dog a present, Sophie says. Christmas is about presents. Christmas is about people and dogs and horses. Somebody said that they miss seeing Macy on the vlogs. Say hi, Mace. Say hi. She's getting old, you guys. She is not much longer for the world. She's just a little teeny tiny ball of cuteness right I've told you guys before Macy's definitely on the last leg of her journey she has a few little medical issues that come with age and she's doing fine though she takes medication and she's still living it up on the day-by-day -day farm as the spoiled little princess she sleeps between me and Sam at night and it's so weird though because I cuddle her up and sleep with her and as soon as I fall asleep she crawls away from me and lays pressed up against Sam's back presses her entire body up against Sam's back she could be with me, but she lays with Sam, which is fine, except for that Sam just rolls over and doesn't even care. I have to like sleep with one eye open to make sure she doesn't die in the night. I'm so sensitive to her movement that when Sam starts to roll over and she starts to move away from Sam, I always wake up phew, and I grab her so fast. It is not safe, but that's just the way that it happens at our house. She just chooses to sleep next to Sam's back. 
I'm going down to the bar and you guys come down in 20 minutes. Okay? okay. 20 minutes. Don't forget because I want you guys to come with me. You guys are not coming. <laughs> horse I'm not gonna lie I don't love a messy horse so Penny just turned around in the aisle she never ever does that but she saw the hay inside the stall and wanted to get at it so she turned herself around but there used to be a time that I would never make her turn around in the aisle I would have went back in the arena and brought her back in because I feel nervous turning horses in tight circles like in tight areas because I don't know enough <laughs> about horses but now I'm just like yeah turn around turn yourself around so I always tell the girls to come down 20 minutes after I leave so that I can spend time with my girl all by myself and just and enjoy just us. since I bought Penny a year that she didn't pin her ears at all when, when I showed her the saddle. Usually as soon as she sees the saddle, she pins her ears for like a minute, but she's always fine. She just remembers like she doesn't like it. But today she didn't pin her ears for the first time ever. Literally the first time ever in a year. That's how long it can actually take for your horse to unlearn a memory or to feel comfortable. She looks like a cow just standing there with her head hanging low. <laughs> Okay, it's recording. Gabby, you gotta close that. No. tell she's so excited you guys I can't even see the camera I could tell she's like whoa <laughs> like she's just excited to get out and do something and the good weather probably to eat the grass but we're not doing that today I'm worried about the arena footing because it's wet not like really bad but I I'm probably only gonna walk because I don't want her to trip
That's what I said. Where do you want the camera? See the smile that makes the sun rise you make it shine but i can see that you don't realize and that's what made me fall in love brave enough to come down here without the girls <laughs> because Penny and I would just have so much fun riding around I didn't have my stool we left it at the other barn so I had to find a way to get on her I don't want to like ground mount because I'm too heavy and I don't want to hurt her back and you can't lift your legs that high and I can't lift my leg that high that's what oh, Sophie said come on admit it all you older women you can't lift your leg that high can just put these to the longest setting and then oh. it'll be like all the way down yeah. and get up and then so Still, I'll wrench and her then back put though. Put them up by yourself and see if you can do it. Yeah. Okay. I can. So, anyways, it might not look like I wasn't doing anything on there. I always feel exhilarated after I ride because she's so good to me. She's so good to me. Like, I don't know what she looked like. I'll see the footage back. Hopefully, there's footage. I left the filming up to the children, but oh, she pleasure. literally, like, I haven't ridden her in a week at least because it's just been so busy, and she's just. And the footing was like all wet and yuck and I didn't want her to trip so I didn't let her go too fast. But she doesn't even try anything bad. Like she's just so good. One thing left to fix. We can trailer. I can ride. One thing left to fix this winter, you guys. And then I will not, I will be unstoppable this spring. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to do a lot of trail rides this summer? No. Or just show, big shows? Um, mostly showing. Mostly showing? Well, we are trail riding. I'm trail riding. That's my thing. I have friends that are planning on me joining them during the trail ride and I'm excited about that. Just letting her have some grass because she is so good to me. She's so patient and so sweet and like this. I just can't believe how much I enjoy riding her. I just wish the footing was a little bit better. And I was working on things and trying to figure things out. Every ride is not about her pretty much right now. It's about me figuring things out and getting ready. I love this girl. She did not pin her ears at the saddle for the first time, you guys. Like every time I heightened it, she didn't even, couldn't even care less. Like she's so happy. And when we were walking out here, I felt her happiness. It was probably at the grass, but I could feel she was excited. 
thought you remember when you hit me in the head with a stirrup? Yes, I hit you in the head with a stirrup one time. It went away, but now every time I touch it, it hurts. I've had, I've had bumps like that too. She doesn't like little things by her feet. She doesn't care. I don't think she sees it. Yeah, she's so happy today. Penny meets the new horse. You like her? <laughs> she doesn't care. We love her. She pins. She pins her ears at her. Can you do something entertaining with it? You guys know how I'm, I get anxiety when I'm riding because I'm like an older new rider. And like, the, and like I told you guys with Sophie this morning, how like if she thinks there's something wrong or she's hurting the horse, she can't ride the horse. And I'm like the same. And I it's the same. So that's what I'm like with the bit. I hate riding in a bit because I'm a beginner and I like freak out when I think I'm hurting them. And that's why my rope halter has like, has changed my life because she seems so much happier in it. I have more control in this. She doesn't even try and misbehave in this at all. Like this, people have been saying in other videos that she's so calm now for me. This is what gives her confidence and makes her calm. And there's no bit and it just like, oh man, I don't know why. Like no, nobody's ever told me to ride in a rope halter before. In fact, I feel like in the past her trainers have said like, have given me the impression that rope halters are only to be used if your horse is misbehaving, like they're harsh. But, oh man, it, if you're struggling with your horse or you don't want to ride in a bit and you want to transition to bitless, do a rope halter, it's so cool. Like it made the difference of a lifetime for me. How do you got a shaving right here? I don't know, but I want Sophie to ride in a, in a rope halter and see how thin it is, but he doesn't like the pressure on his nose, so. Yeah, he hates it. Don't you know that you're beautiful?